All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to swap out a keyboard on a Dell Latitude D620. The same procedures are going to work on the 630s, 820s, and 830s. So, first thing you need to do is remove this plastic bezel that's above the top of the keyboard. If you look on the upper right hand corner above the keyboard, there's a little indention and just take a small flat blade screwdriver, put it in there and then this bezel will start coming up and just lift it up and then it can be set to the side. Now there's a series of a few screws that need to be removed. So you take a small Phillips screwdriver, it's going to be three screws across the top. And you can just lift the old keyboard out of its and then pull it up from the front. And now you have the keyboard plug that's going to need to be removed. That would be the last step in the removal. And for it, there's a little plastic catch that holds it in place. And then you grab hold of this purple tab and just pull straight up. And the old keyboard can come out. And for the new one, just take your new keyboard, seat the interconnect, press it down, make sure it's fully seated, then push the retainer clip back in place. Across the front of the keyboard, there's going to be five tabs. They go into the appropriate locations. And then the keyboard will just lay down flat. You put the three screws across the top of the keyboard back in. and the plastic bezel snaps back into place. Very easy to do on these computers. Um, these particular models of Dell uh, are probably some of the easiest ones on the market to replace the keyboards on. There's no screws that you have to be removed from the bottom or anything. It's just the three across the top of the keyboard shown right there. So if you have keys that either you've lost the key tops or if your keyboard, some of the keys are no longer functional, um, it's easy, very easy to do. You can get the keyboards on you know, eBay or do Google search and get them. Um, keyboards are less than $20, and as you see, it takes about two minutes to replace the keyboard. So very worthwhile to get your laptop back up and running. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other videos on how-tos on laptops, computers, printers, tablets, and cell phones. Thanks for watching.